I'm going to post today um, a real, real short uh, video clip on uh, the uh, my technique I use for, for the right hand, the picking hand. There's been questions on that, people having trouble with that and this and that. Um, and there's something I, I, I failed to uh, to relay on that when I did these uh, did these videos. So, um, uh, like I said, I, I, I play this way. I don't use the hybrid picking. I don't hold the pick here and use down here I don't I don't do that I, I use a regular thumb pick on the thumb and the two here so the way I do it um, uh, I started out playing steel guitar 45 years ago and the way uh, I was taught was uh, with, with with your little pinky finger right here you find a home position they call it like an anchor position a home position so um, I adapted that over to the 12 string uh, picking and it worked out just fine so so um, how I do this is, um, you know, I, I, I wear my picks out kind of on uh, my metal finger picks out. So I just, so I don't have any of my fingers, fingertips come in contact with the string. The only thing that comes in contact are, are going to be the picks themselves. So other people... Uh, wear them in and they just have a little nub maybe sticking out on the end uh, that's that's not uh, the way I prefer to do it could uh, like I said you got to do what's comfortable for you what works for you but uh, like I said people do things different people finger pick different people you know they do a lot of stuff different but this is um, I'm trying to relay the way I do it so um, so what I mean by a, a home position or anchor I take my pinky finger right here and I will put it on the pick guard right here right about here right behind the, the high E string and I will keep that there and as you notice if, if I do any picking that 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 hand that figure will not move out of that position it won't move here or it won't come up off of 99.9% .9 of the time that's going to be right there and this finger here the ring finger is going to be kind of tucked up under there so i'll just have like a what you would say maybe a little claw maybe like like that with with, with my pinky finger right here on the pick guard it rests here i wouldn't recommend it wrapping it around the string or anything like that so um so, so that so that That, that finger is uh, is always resting there. That 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 that's what I call my home position, and that's the way my hand looks right there. I have like a little little circle right here in there, with with the finger resting right there as you can see. I'll, I'll play a little chord progression. You can see that that finger basically stays right there. So I'll just do it like a D G and A. right about there you see see that's that's my home position and that and that and you know when when you it seems like it's kind of odd to explain but what you know when you uh, when that's touching on there you know where your position are, is over your strings so if you didn't if you lifted that up your hand would kind of float you know you wouldn't have no anchor position as they call it so um I think a lot of players play like that. Some play, some don't. Some don't. I, 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 I that, that feels uncomfortable for me. I, I, I hit the, the wrong strings, the wrong bass notes, and, and if I, I find out if I have this little pinky finger here in that position right here, just put it here and bring your hand down like that.
that's just a little little pointer there for for the right hand. Uh, that that may help out some people out there that are having trouble with that. And uh, just keep your pinky finger anchored down here, just kind of touching that. It doesn't have to wrap around nothing. Just touching that, and that'll let your hand know that you're in your home position there, and, and you can uh, you know you can go according. And it just. It, it, it really works for me, and like I said, uh, this is not chiseled stone. Like I said, uh, other finger picking guitar players might do it a little different. Uh, pedal steel guitar players do that. Some of them don't. Some of them play with the hand like that. I I was never able to do that. Now I was always taught about that home position right there. And uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate that one more time. And, and as you'll see, this little pinky finger is always always right there. And, and the and the ring finger is kind of tucked up underneath. I, I mean, I don't anchor them both. I kind of tuck that one up out of the way. So, uh... So I'll, I'll do the Chimes of Freedom intro, and, and, and you'll see um, that that, that, that uh, finger's uh, right there. It never leaves. And uh, once again, uh, thanks for watching and listening. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, uh, feel free to uh, send me an email at garywjacob at comcast.net. Thank you. And I'll do one, one little intro out, and you'll watch this pinky. It doesn't leave right here. It, it kind of always touches right there on the pick guard. So, thank you. Once again, I hope this helps uh, help some people out, and uh, thank you for watching and listening. I'll uh, see you guys all soon.